afternoon, good evening, or good morning, you beautiful people, wherever you are in this fast, fast world. Of course, it is I, it is me, it is she, pure wisdom, and I come to speak about divine flow, right? Being in divine flow, mindfulness, um, knowing that you are who you are, no apologies, and as long as you tap into who you authentically are, everything flows. So what is divine flow? And I actually found a created <laughs> my own definition of divine flow, but it simply states, allowing oneself to move through life experiences with di disattachment to expectations and desired destination. Accepting the highs and lows, a part of who you are, divine flow. Disattachment. When you're in divine flow or alignment, as they say, you allow life to flow to you. You focus on working on the inside of yourself. You focus on being a better person. You focus on um, allowing the lower parts of yourself to not rear its little head and, and stay righteous and obedient and disciplined and focused in your way so that you can stay in divine flow and in alignment with your most high creator now what does divine flow look like um let's just use a scenario you get up in the morning and you get prepared for work and then you leave out the house and you go to work there is a traffic jam there is a car accident and you are advised to detour to go the other direction so you are going the other direction and you may get frustrated because you're trying to get to work right but there is a divine flow to that detour knowing that detour could have been saving you from death could have been saving you from traumatized seeing something traumatizing um it could have saved you from someone hurting you or a situation that was ahead of you that you did not see because you can't see that far ahead, but your most high creator saw it. So that is divine flow, moving and operating in that and trusting that even whenever it gets frustrating, right? So the other part of being in divine, divine flow, you have to understand and accept that there is a higher part of you and there is a lower part of you, right? There is the positive and there is the negative. We all have it. It's the balance of the yin and the yang. We self-criticize. We self-sabotage. We, you know, many deal with low self-esteem or many go into deep depression or others curse or alcohol, whatever it is, whatever topic, it doesn't matter. That is the lower part of you that we all have that in ourselves. Um, and it is our responsibility to keep that lower person tamed. Now, of course, you know, that is a day in and day out process. Remember, mindfulness, being mindful, healing your heart, because when you heal your heart of what you expect and what you want and disattach to allow your mind to just flow and be free, you become in alignment. Everything you need is drawn to you. It's dropped into your lap because you're in divine flow. You're listening to yourself. You're paying attention more. So just being in divine flow creates a new life for you. And then the part about disattachment and expectations, that's the lower part of ourselves. We expect certain things from people, places, or things. Um, we are emotionally attached to people places or things and when those people places or things do not suit us in the way that we see fit we begin to have an emotional experience a negative emotional experience and it's not in divine flow so disattaching from outcomes and disattaching from people places or things and just allowing yourself to be to be in alignment listening to the inside of you what your inside of you tell you today inside the work inside of you tell you okay well go to work today <laughs> that's kind of automatic right but let's just say okay well today your inside say go out to the park and you typically don't go to the park, right? But there was something inside of you that said go to the park. That's something inside. Listen to that something inside because it's something at that park that you need for the inside, for your growth. Because remember, everything works from the inside out. And ultimately, it's what you feed on the inside that comes out. So when your inside speaks to you, 
When your insight speaks to you, it is your responsibility to be obedient and listen. Even when you don't want to hear what it is that your insight is saying, you have to be disciplined, focused, and obedient to what your insight is saying to you. The three P's of life. Plan, prepare, practice. Plan is you're getting the message, you're getting, preparing, you're studying, you're researching, you're finding out all there is to know, and practice. Practice is a real life action steps, one foot in front of the other, whether that's an email being sent, whether that's a phone call being made, you know, it doesn't matter. Action steps, plan, prepare, practice, and disattaching from the outcome. Don't worry about the outcome. Just know that the outcome always happens, just as the Bible states, for your highest good. So trust and know that it happens for your highest good and you stay in mindfulness. Remain mindful. Life cannot exist without the light and dark parts of ourselves. So when we're going through processes, and I, I will definitely suggest and um, challenge you that when you're going through these processes um, of life and it doesn't feel good and it's uncomfortable, Allow that uncomfortable feeling to sit with you and push your way through. Feel what it is that's coming up. Actively listen to what your inside is telling you. Pay attention to those and then act accordingly. Everything doesn't reserve, deserve a response. So be mindful. Mindfulness. Stay in divine flow. Because as you operate in divine flow and remain mindful... You attract everything that you are. You don't have to go look for it. You don't have to go find it. It finds you. It literally drops in your lap. So I hope this video blesses you today in an amazing way. And I want you to just try to begin to take some of these tools, these wisdom tools that's going to help you remain mindful and stay in divine flow. Much love, light, and many blessings. And if you need me, as always, I'm here, Pure Wisdom. We're in the office, Charlotte, North Carolina. We'd love to see you here. If not, send us a message. But you remember, stay loved, stay comforted, be blessed, and know that God loves you. And I love you too.